Hi everyone. In the previous video, I've showed you how to create pipeline layout with a main pipe connected to a secondary one. In this video, I want to show you some advanced tools and I want to show you how to design the section of the pipelines. So first for moving a manhole, let's say I want to move this manhole 1.4. I will go to pipeline layout. I will make sure that I am in the right pipeline, number one, line one. And I will just click on the manhole, snap to the blue square and move it here. Now I will press apply. As you can see, the manhole was moved here and the station updated as well. Now I want to add a manhole between 1.4 and 1.5. So I will go here, press enter and add a manhole 1.41. Add a station, of course, let's say 135 and press apply. As you can see, the manhole was added here. If I want to erase a manhole, I will do just the same. I will go to the, to the line of the manhole I will press delete, apply, and the pipeline was updated here. Also in the grid, if I want to move a manhole in line two, I have to go to line two, then do the same thing here, press apply, and the pipeline moved. Now I want to show you how to edit the sections of the pipeline. I will press pipeline section and here I get the list of the manholes. I will press apply and I get a grid with the ground level here. In this table, I can see that each line represents a change in the ground level. The first vertex is of a 16 meters with elevation of 6182. Then I have the changes in the ground level here below. Here I can see the connection to pipe number two with the station in invert level. And now I will start to set the depth of our pipe. So let's say one meter and a half and press apply. Let's set also a diameter for our, our pipe. Let's say 250. and press apply. After each change, I will press apply. So now you can edit the properties of your pipe and you can also use this important tool of fixed slope and fixed invert level to set which one you want to be leading. Another option you have in this screen here, options and manhole size table. You can set here, according to the, to the depth, the size of manhole you want and press OK. Then if you press here in this button, 
you will get here automatically the size according to the depth you set. Another tool you have is calculation drop automatically. You press it and you have the drop here and you press apply and it will apply here. One more thing, you can edit your pipe by using the AutoCAD tool. Make sure that you are on auto mode. Go to the white line and just drag it down. Press apply. Changes will be applied here and also in the grid here. You can only move it up and down, but not right and left. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.